Okay, so I welcome everybody to see this uh, this presentation about little tectonic units of Western Carpathians and Senzulato, also the whole Europe. It is an intention to do such large work dealing not only with lithology, lithological maps, but also involve to into these maps also dynamic aspect. So evolutionary aspect to see on maps how rock complexes has developed and how maybe in the future the evolution will continue. So now I will start presentation. This presentation is uh, based on activity of Eurogeo surveys, coordination and support action. I will uh, switch it on on laser pointer. Yes, maybe it is visible. And the within it, there is a work package six and especially task 6.24.4 uh, dealing with little tectonic map. It is update of a recently very well done, excellent map of international geological map of Europe and adjacent areas in the scale one to five million edited by Christian Ash from Ge German Geological Survey. We will deal or test and discuss present little tectonic units of Europe, our ambition to define them. And even I will show how to, or I will suggest how to do it very, very simple, effective, very understandable, because it is not so difficult, even there is necessary to understand the philosophy of it. My name is Zoltan Nemed, as I was introduced already, and I work in the State Geological Institute of Dionysia Tour from Slovakia. So we can start our journey. This is this uh, very well base map, we will, which will be used for our litotectonic research, defining litotectonic units. This is by Christina Esch. And we will try to add on this map some bed, some layers, showing individual products of orogenic cycles, because all our work will be based on orogenic cycles and even more detailly in orogenic phases of these cycles. It is important, for example, for, for activities concerning raw materials, exploration, even concerning environmental geology, and so on. Within our group, lithotectonic group or core team, we have decided that there should be some people, principal investigators of some type localities, type regions, areas, and after succeeded in it, we will do the rest of Europe. Of course, many activities will be done in kind, more free, it will be our ambition and maybe lucky to do it. And in the future, I think, I suppose many papers, representations, scientific output, and of course, progress in science of this type. So youngest activity, youngest uh, geological processes can be very clearly, clearly observable in Ipan Carpathian chain, but also we will focus for Variscan, Hercinian areas, and even those of Proterozoic. People responsible for these areas, so I am responsible for for Western Carpathians and even the rest, if, if it will be successful. Hans Georg Kirchmeier for Austria, then it will be Maxim Padel from France, from Bergen concerning France and territory of France and those the tectonic units. Iberian Peninsula will be covered by Francisco Rubio Pascal and Penoscandian Peninsula by Stefan Bergman. All others are invited. So everybody can contribute, unfortunately, at the moment, I suppose first year is not paid, but there will be a, a team of th thematic advisors. And future, I suppose that we will bring a large project and uh, these people will be involved in this large project. So it is our ambition to launch it. Okay, we continue. Situation is very, very simple. If we prepare a logical net of our work, everything will be very easy. And this logical net, uh, net is orogenic Wilson cycle, very well known even from, from primary schools. 
that there is divergence, opening of space, rifting on continental crust, then opening of elongated oceanic space or space of this oceanic crust along the central part. The divergence, divergence will switch to convergence. It is D1 in our classification. And there will start subduction processes, accretionary pr prism origin, implication, and related processes. And this process will terminate with collision and origin of thickened continental crust. So it is the stage D2. When this collision will also uh, show or will be act, uh, will be affected by thermal ingress from the bottom, the so-called hot line in our classification, and thermal processes will produce other things. Among them is unroofing, metallogenic, and so on. I will explain these things for the slides. Of course, it is, let's say, fight between extension and still progressing par partial compression. So there is necessary something like interplate consolidation on uh, or stress elimination related to various transform forms, shear zones, rotation, block rotations, and then it, it will finish with D4, it is extension. So it is written uh, general philosophy that more or less everything in our planet, in our continents worked on this principle. It is curious uh, how famous uh, geology Wilson defined his, uh, his famous orogenic Wilson cycle. It was just as we have Atlantic. So previously there were Iapetus and having much smaller number of proofs, he defined something so genius like this Wilson orogenic cycle. Now we have much more proof, so everything is valid and valid in many orogenic cycles throughout the all continents. So uh, progress or uh, importance of this approach is written here. I will not repeat it, and we continue. Of course, we understand philosophy, but how to express it by understandable and very easy way. So we use in Slovakia something like classification, declassification. And as a prefix of this, we add the sign of particular orogenic cycle. For example, we are dealing with this neo-alpine canozoic evolution, so it is AN. Previous Mesozoic evolution in our territories in Alpine Carpathian range, it was Paleo-Alpine, so-called uh, Paleo-Alpine Mesozoic evolution. And Paleozoic, it is very scan and so on. So we at V, D, zero, and we immediately know what it is about, that we are dealing about divergence, riftogenesis, opening of space, and related volcanic sedimentary activities. And of course, some phases are related also with metamorphic overprint. For example, this one, this divergence, this riftogenesis accompanied, of course, is well known, mid ocean rich metamorphism. So we have prefix M and again, MV0, we know that it is metamorphism along the mid ocean ridge of Variscan age. Next, there is convergence, metamorphism, mainly high pressure, or ultra high pressure metamorphism related to subduction processes. So it is MB1, for example, for Variscan. And this phase is named by this. Thermal process is related with second continental crust, with this post collisional processes, this great heat input. Metallogenesis, this is unroofing and so, so it is this process and this metamorphism. And third situation, which is the final and afterward, the new original cyclone will originate, will start, is this one. So very simple, understandable, uh, everything is dealing about it. It is good, uh, in my opinion, good approach because 
various countries of European, various geological surveys, for example, know a lot about the evolution of the territory of their geological units, but there are still missing some, some points, some details in the puzzle. So immediately they know what is missing and what is good to look for. It is good also for, for universities, for academy, because they know, ah, there is something missing in our orogenic cycle or our orogenic cycles, right? Like the area is, has a multi, multi stereo or multi cycle overprint. Okay, so very simple, very shown, understandable. We continue. Divergence and we e continue. I emphasize that it's most important. We have to remember it. We continue with this collision, with this convergence, subject collision convergence, then unroofing, metamorphic or complex, and this these three. So I already told everything about it. In our work, we will force two situations. That there will be some countries, or I hope many of or majority of countries, that everything is more or less clear. And it is only simple because we have a geological map, for example, this excellent map of Europe, Sigma 5000. And immediately we can put indexes on individual polygon, polygons. So it is not so terrible like it looked before, because we, if you know this philosophy, it's very simple. We can just tomorrow sit and index various blocks. Of course, there are countries that it is not clear or there are some still some missing information. So we will try to compile it to compile it. This will be more scientific work, very, very, very exciting. And of course, publications and presentations may be the re uh, result of it. Important, of course, in this in the science of little tectonic units are uh, lithological sequences because we are not dealing only with some rock type, for example, but still it is a sequence. For example, for rifting, the, there are some typical sequences of passive margin opening of this ocean space. So change of acidic, for example, volcanism to intermediate to basalt and so on. And also tectonometamorphic overprint can bring us some important signs. Where are we and what will be before and what's after, will we be after. Of course, we are not dealing with own research because we have not budget for it. So we will more or less rely on published scientific data, but still I think it is, it is a wealth of materials. We have a lot of to read, to study. Several weeks ago, I suggested even system how to mark PDFs of papers, for example, very simple and still use a particular index we just defined and case immediately what this paper is dealing about. There will be little tectonic units of the first order, so they underwent original orogenic cycle, the complete one. It is the majority of uh, little tectonic units. I will show later that even there are little tectonic units that underwent two or three orogenic cycles. And also, if we will, in some sequence, in some blocks, describe or distinguish only some or one by face, so it will be the little tectonic unit of second order, but there is still space for the future to continue in research and to update it. Now we will start, I hope, very interesting uh, tour about what is known in Western Carpathians. Luckily, the country is very well situated. This in Alpine Carpathian range, it is the north more situated segment of this orogenic belt. And even it is more symmetric. So we have Western limb, Eastern limb, and even this band is very important. I will tell about why it's very important. We know also other segments are very important, but there are, for example, Austral Pines units, uh, Austrian units. There is more or less very, very penetrative, very important, very, very strong sinistral shearing, and maybe some things can be distracted. This be, this be not so visible or even un, unknown 
but here it is more very very clear everything so i think that is a very good type idea and is the reason why i do lecture next next slide about it and of course uh, ha having uh, knowledge about this evolution recently we were doing something in himalayas and we found also several parallel future zones so the several parallel future zones the sequence of originated future zones indicates very important things let's look as i mentioned this this uh, classification is to this day so i am sure that it will be developed it will be much detail in the future but even now we can find youngest Plutotecton uni neo-alpine origin or kenozoic kenozoic alpine tectonic uni we can find ap it is paleozoic it is the palo alpine so mesozoic plutotecton unit and i will show you what we discovered in one part of the western carpathia's name gameric or gameric litotecton unit where you can see more or less everything which happened in this region everything was clearly defined revealed and proved so i think it will be very nice i will have possibility to show you it just now okay with distinguished little tectonic units that are connected or we can attribute to them various kinds of mineralizations because these zero opening of basins lithogenesis opening of oceanic space of course we have straight about mineralization it is a very well-known fact and our research this in europe maybe will show further territories where such mineralization can be perspective for example with uh, d2 with metamorphic or complex and overheating or collided lith lithology there are related origin of vein mineralization for example and this is more or less everything which can be found in, in western carpathians many of these things are even critical raw materials so it is very useful i think our work our research also for European Union, I, will, I hope that every, even uh, European Commission will appreciate it because there are a lot of activities concerning critical raw materials. Okay, this is segment of uh, IGME 5000. My previous slides were in the scale one to two million. This is scale one to five million, so it will be more not so detailed, but each part of the map is very very good excellent work christina congratulations and defining little texture units here on other parts of you i think that will be very easy okay we'll continue generally geological background maybe it is not generally very very known or people are not thinking about it that distribution of continents of our planet is more or less understood to be random but there still are some forces driving forces in the ocean in ridges opening of space for example here so these parts of american continents and europe africa are still more distant and it is curious that in the past there was a rodinia something similar appeared and also the apertures was open opened and it's closed and after its closure closure and some segment of sequence of apertures wilson this uh, defined is what wilson cycles this was a cycle yes but there are two types of orogenic processes it is not written in textbooks it is generally not very very known and taken into considerations i will continue about it so Alfred Wegener, genius, Pangea. Previously, there was Rodinia and other supercontinents, but there are two things. Still, we have something like intra Pangea processes, intra Rodinia processes. There are more or less of equatorial direction. And the rest of, of the Earth is covered with large oceanic space it is 
something which happens only on margins of it. It's circumpacific processes. This classification is more is not official, it is mine product, but I think that but that it is meaning, meaningful and will be used in the future, I hope. Okay. There are some some scientists, for example, I read a very good paper by Domayer et al, relatively recent. It is, he discovered more as the same, that something happens in equatorial sense or direction, and it is opening, closing, opening, closing. You can see again, late carboniferous closure, this collision permian, but also more in this direction, equatorial is opening of middle Triassic. Of course, it is not uh, only geo, Metrical reconstruction. He re revised, he reviewed paleomagnetic data and found that even his revision brought this situation. So, recent situation on, the, on our globe, what we can see equatorial trend, uh, equatorial direction, intrapangea zones, and we have find also Circle Pacific, typical textbook situation of Japan and ants. Plate tectonics was defined not only by usual cycles, but also by petrological and volcanological and other science, uh, discoveries in ants, in Japan. But question is, and uh, I know my answer, I also published some paper about it, that I am not convinced that processes in Japan and this type, circumpacific types of processes are totally, absolutely valid in our interpangea zones. So there are differences. And maybe we can, in our joint research, we, our team, Rito Tectonic team, will contribute in the science much more. Okay, so take a look for our Western Carpathians. This is the country of Slovakia. So we can see Bratislava, the capital of this country. and. Eastern Slovakia, Kosice, where I work, here is more as Ukrainian border. So the whole country, as you can see the zonality. And even within this one, we discovered future after Palotetis. It is this deformation phases or um, orogenic cycle of VD. Very well defined future after Neotetis. Well known Meliata Hallstatt, oceanic space or ocean. Palo Alpine processes opening closure. And also we have third Kenozoic processes related with this neo-alpine evolution of proto-Atlantic or Vahic domain. Very well, these processes are described in, in alpine terrains in Austria and others, because we have here futures on name clip and belt and also this accretional prism. This base map was uh, compiled by a famous like geologist Lucian Plashenka. Maybe we know him from literature. But also there are other sutures. What we can imagine about it? Even before Pariscan suture, there are older ones. So processes of divergence and convergence, convergence repeated many, many times. It was something like pulsing, stress field opening and closing, opening and closing, and so on. Okay, so we reconstructed situation in in this internal part of Slovakia, this gameric unit, as I shown in these schemes that we have distinguished more all phases of three origin cycles here. Now we will look to Variscan evolution. First, here is this geosuture, as I mentioned, this is this Variscan geosuture after old Tetis, Palotetis, named in our classification. And this geosuture has very nicely defined kinematics that south of it, there are passive margin of an African continental crust and cover sequences, early positive cover sequences, then open the space. Subduction was beneath north located sequences and there was collision. 
opening and uh, thermal processes in Indian Ocean Ridge related to this future were, were defined like VD0 as well as metamorphism equals MV0. Next, there was the subduction it was the nose, which for this was followed by abduction, collision, and abduction, which was south vergent. It is more generally known that variscan abduction processes are south virgin. We, we saw it also in other, other countries of this evolution. And here we can find compressional phase. But what was curious, it is, I think, a novel, novel thing that each compression continues by pressure release and slight, very slightly visible, provable unroofing. So we find that after dominant abduction, compression, and NEP trusting of these sequences over a marginal for a passive, passive margin of uh, Pan African basement, after it, there was slight unroofing. I will show very nice evidences also in micro scale, because we are still working with either ductile deformation or brittle deformation. And these old processes, and even those in, in for example, proterozoic uh, terrains are majority ductile. What happened after this slight unroofing, there was overheated this collided terrain and originated this metamorphic complex. I will show some slides about it. And it was very surprising, the dominant unroofing and opening of Palo Tetis, Meliata Hush and Ocean, Ocean was south of this terrain. This is all, possibly only one explanation. It was published in several of my papers that hardly we can expect that mantle plum, we understand or understand mantle plum not like spot, like vertical column. We understand it like linear structure, like a rift zone, because even primary rift zone cause opening this variscan basement, this ocean, and it doesn't disappear. This, this still exists. And after collision, the heat from this mantle pump, this linear mantle pump, contributed its heat to overheating this collide terrain. So it was reason either this slide unroofing this direction, but dominant one this. And because the kinematics completely switched to this south virgin unroofing, it means that continental crust was moved slightly northwards. So very, very nice demonstration proof of continent displacement of content movement. Okay, so some phases of this Variscan orogenic cycle. Of course, we hardly can manifest or demonstrate or prove this opening, this zero stage, this opening of oceanic space by fractal, fractal researchers because more or less it is ductile deformation and more or less extension. So some cracks are infilled by, by veins for by calcium and so on. But nevertheless, still there are some evidences concerning protolit and of course metamorphic overprint. Very, very, very contributing to this research were Slovak petrologist Martin Radvanec is very well known. He published many, many, ten, many tens papers, very, very good petrologist. So I think that many, many things I will show also from his work here. And these things concerning VD0 can be very nice visible here in Eastern part of the Medic unit, because there is visible complete dismember, dismembered ophiolite suit. And not only this one, this ophiolite, metophyllite suit, this membered one, this green color, but even complete overprint and complete sequence on straff fractures. So, continue. After this originated, ocean was closed. There was south vergent. Now it does not, doesn't look south. It looks southwest vergent, but I will explain why it is so. It was originally south vergent. 
abduction, exhumation, then flight and roofing, and origin of this Meliata Talstadt Mesozoic Basin, which was related with this BD tooth phase, and that was closed by collision and north vergent thrusting. Again, the same. But younger by one generation and our printing all the structures. It was north vergent. It, now it looks north east vergent. I will explain why so. Third suture and third process in Slovakia is what the neo alpine uh, related to the Vahig region, Peninic region. And its closure was rated with brittle uh, tectonics in, in Slovakia, even in our part, southern parts. So it was also defined like neo alpine phase with shear zones, textile orientation, distance, shear, sense, uh, shear zones. And of course, this eastern north south trending linament, it is extension, intracontinental extension, and signed as an uh, alpine phase four. Okay, these structures are very clear. Everything was very, very nice uh, documented uh, by structural measurements. So you can see individual phases, Variscan and alpine. So this is this Variscan. As I mentioned, some processes which are ductile are very, very hardly, or hardly can be documented by structural geology, dealing mainly with, with brittle or brittle ductile structures. But very usable is here. There are uh, oriented thin sections. So we will take in outcrop scale samples which are oriented and even thin sections are oriented. So this is precise orientation in the space. And now we can very nicely distinguish structures and phases, metamorphic phases and individual minerals and their deformation, asymmetric structures rated with M0, that is this uh, lithogenous phase, then, then this abduction and unroofing and so on. So I strongly recommend focus in our further research oriented samples in mesostructure, in microstructure, or even in uh, polished thin sections we, we, use, we are using in for our microprobe. Okay, so it was story, very, very short about this ocean floor. And now even much, much more exciting story about exhumed blocks from this future zone. Much more exciting because we have exhumed not only sequences of ocean floor, but even sequences from the bottom of continent, which were in, in, involved to subduction, channel and moved up. Because uh, of how very high uh, pressure metamorphism, Marty Radovan is our petrologist, distinguish really ecologic uh, phases, and it is more or less sensu stricto ecologic geo future. So many things was done by the structural investigation, more or less everything is here measured and visualized by, by my research. And all again, oriented block of rocks, precisely we, we can see that it is inclined to northeast, kinematic of deformation of ellipsoid and uh, principal axis of it, and complete, we can reconstruct primary magnetic stage and then high pressure metamorphism and then pressure release and other things. It was published, so I will send you a paper, a very interesting paper about it. Okay, we will progress. And one, one more thing. All the ductile structures are overprinted by young alpine structures. So everything in one outcrop visible. Maybe some interesting thing that this metagab rose from the lower part of continental crust during their journey, if I may say, down to the subduction slab and up, then were deformed and mineralization was so strong that now we have find these things that who is not familiar with this evolution will take, ah, oh, we can see bonded sandstone or something like this. 
Ok, TT Pass by Martin Radvanec. So, Meta Gabros from the bottom of continental crust, PT conditions, and the mark and white is so it is extremely high strontium content in plagioclase. So it is the principal sign which he used for positioning this primary litholith or protolith of these exhumed blocks. Then we have epidural action light phases and so on, exclogite phases, and then pressure release, blue schists, pump light, action light phases, everything very well defined pathologically. And we reach more or less levels of the continental crust and there starts process VD2, this collisional process, this metamorphic or complex. So increase of in temperature, decrease in pressure and so on. Again, published, I can provide you paper. Okay, let's go. PT pass, I think that it is for another uh, extended lecture. So I think that it's not necessary to explain it now at the moment. But principle of rotation, very interesting factor. I think that many of you are familiar with this one. We can find it my micro scale one millimeter, so several millimeter scale. We can find it in, in scale of outcrop, outcrop scale and even large blocks of rocks, dimensions of, for example, 50 meters in diameter. When exhumed within subduction slab are rotating. So everything is rotated. But this is uh, shown that very high contents of strontium indicate unusual origin of this metagabros. Of course, me, we have also distinguished or defined PT passes, not only these things from, from uh, future zone, but even from this passive margin. And even after this collision, we have distinguished this overprint, uh, this uh, thermal overprint, thermal overprint. Everything was published. So again, I will send, you can distinguish that everything we have even not only kinematically proves, mainly by microstructures, but even uh, dated. Okay. I mentioned this curious situation that after abduction, there is slight unroofing. So we have found rocks that we have two unroofing kinematics, older one related with this abduction kinematics and slight a decrease of pressure and slight unroofing to the north generally and next stronger one related to opening new oceanic space on continent this paleo paleo uh, paleo paleo alpine phase of meliata hostel ocean is also very clearly defined with asymmetric structures but everything is important to have oriented so oriented samples oriented thin sections everything is important Again, some, some reconstructions, slide for, for the whole complete lecture, so I think that it's not necessary, but everything fits well. So we have petrological data from these parts, petrological data from these parts, and even from passive margin and these sequences. Of course, here are uh, sequences of primary opening of continent, typical ethologies, widths, stratiform, stratiform mineralization, and after heating, this excellent source of fluids and metals for originated or veins. So this interaction between D0 and D2, theta bound mineralization and vein mineralization. Okay. Not very clearly visible because it is it was large maps, so but it can uh, show you that. Even in this relatively small part of Slovakia, we have proved a very detailed documented 1,300 old veins and 737 mineral deposits and occurrences. And both are more or less a matter of theta bound mineralization, VD0, and metamorphic or complex, VD2. And to make situation even more exciting, 
that is also overprint by younger metamorphological complex, and it is of paleoalpine phase. VAP or APV2. Let's look. Very early, uh, our scientist, uh, Dr. Dr. Gretzla, Pavel Gretzla, very early, maybe 40 years ago, defined very nice metallogenic model that if some sequences with straight about mineralizations are heated, overheated, so depends on temperature and the position concerning this source of heat, deliberates fluids, and which kinds of mineralization were originates. Of course, relating also on primary lithology. Very nice work, historical one. Of course, based on Italy, we did uh, much more complicated reconstruction, but here is everything concerning Western Carpathians. What is can origin cycle with its or, or phase disk completely distinguished, dated, petrological structure and, and mineralogical data complete, the Palo Alpine process, and even this younger Kenozoic Neo Alpine. And they are also distinguished two metamorphic or complex variscan and alpine. As I mentioned, sequences and mineralizations of this one were again remobilized by overheating due to this one, the second palo alpine metamorphic or complex. So there are four metallogenic uh, phases distinguished and defined. Very complicated, but more or less easy. So variscan unroofing, then is alpine uh, alpine evolution not virgin trusting caused its closure of miniata hallstatt basin and again after trusting of basement naps that is again a roofing so situation is still the same very easy and very understandable very nice countryside then we can see the ductile deformation very scan south virgin are overprinted by younger or cretaceous structures of alpine evolution. Okay, curious situation in this terrain is that even we have two generations of ultramafic rocks, of exhumed ultramafic rocks. So, with this variscan future that are clearly known, pathologically defined ultramafic rocks of variscan age, and we have also these rocks of Palo Alpine evolution. And what is nice in Western Carpathians? and very nicely visible, demonstrable, and proved is that when this Palo Alpine Meliata Hallstatt ocean was closed, there was collision, there originated fun structure that majority of it was North Virgin. So uh, each structures in Western Carpathians are North Virgins, these Palo Alpine structures. And even from this future zone, one blocks where this place over everything to the North Gameric zone. So now we have high pressure rocks, remnants of processes, abduction of Variscan age, and above them is another, there are another blocks of Palo Alpine age in Yaklotse and Topshina area. I will show some details. Of course, closure of this Palo Alpine. We are just to, uh, speaking about the second process. Yes, Palo Alpine. This Palo Alpine Meliata Hallstatt basin, south of Gemeric Union, south of Western Carpathians. There are large bodies of ultramatic both rocks, even this underlayer of this uh, sediments, young sediments, it's very large ultramatic body, many square kilometers of ultramatic ultra rocks even boreholes that were not able to penetrate them, so very, very, very thick wire. And these are two, uh, two bodies which were displaced over the whole country. As I mentioned, processes of subduction and even this reverse uh, movement in subduction slab, this, this uh, exhumation are related to this circle with uh, Spherical objects, so form a layer of basic basic volcanic ash within former limestones was metamorphosed. There originated how high pressure metamorphic rock, rock of a night, and even this was this was segmented and exhumed by rotation movement. So we can find 
sigma and delta four kilo class of about 15 centimeters in diameter. It is a hammer handle here. Okay, so alpine evolution, as I mentioned, again, phasing closed and nose divergent uh, compression, net piling, imbrication, and so on, and two parts were displaced over the whole territory, even here, we are close to the end of China area. Everything was, of course, proved by mesostructures, microstructures, and dated, and so on. Okay. Uh, very, very good thing for proving what is alloctonous and what is autochthonous, what is in original position and what, what was displaced, this so called spallow piezometry. I did a rather extended stu uh, studies of this in Investor Carpathi, and so very, very nicely defined uh, differential stresses, which can show you that what was uh, autochthonous and what, what was alloctonous. Here is this situation in Eastern Slovakia, this block of Jaklovce area which was also accompanied with this spherical object exhumed ultramafic rocks. You can see that it's about half a meter. The uh, largest blocks of exhumation we found in, in China, in Liaoning province, it was in diameter about 50 meters. So you can imagine the pressures, which such large bodies can move up against gravitation, move to the surface. Of course, rotation exhumation was related also to these carbon tig rocks. And in the second block in Western part of Slovakia, again, you can see Galkofanic this rock alpha in alpha mafic uh, and host rock. What was autochthonous, what was alloctonous, really distinguished by balance follow piezometry. And there is a or even role of uh, static recrystallization, but I think that it is better of other lecture, and I can send also a paper about it. Model how it worked in Alpine area. So it was North Virgin thrusting and Upper Cretaceous as roofing, as I mentioned. It is related with origin, for example, of of uh, dialogue mineralization, very clear. It is valid, uh, I suppose, along the whole. Alpine Carpathi and chain, this process and other type mineralizations. Very nice visible structures. We have very large mine now in the Gemerska Polova about it. And just we are discussing about this evolution, but only some, some minutes. We are close to the end of this lecture. As I mentioned, unroofing the western part of the uh, Gemerik unit was to the east. It was uh, defined by everything possible. But very important is this part of the of the of the slide, because if you have shearing, finestral shearing here, every, each time it is accompanied with antithetic and synthetic shears, and these are more or less oblique to this mine shear zone. These are, these are extensional structures. Very important point. I think that it is not very generally known hey, that from shear zones we have generated also extensional structure of regional or even whole European importance. Eastern part of Gemic, again, you can tell uh, something against the nature, how we can have unroofing this direction and this direction. What is here, large hole or what? No, because this structure was originally linear, east-west trending. And this bending was caused by I will show you, this is detail of the distant part, proved by everything. This bending was caused by shearing. Here is sinister shearing, extra shearing, and this is the bend of lithology between Gemeric and Emperor Gemeric, but also the whole Western Carpathians. Somebody has uh, switched on microphone, please. I will finish very soon. Okay, so. We are discussing just about this process, trusting, unroofing, and this is the shear zones and these structures of extension, the four structures for alpine. Of course, we can relate everything to mineralization. So it is a slide about how it originated this uranium mineralization near Košice. Again, process of unroofing. So again, ingress of heat, the most important is accompanied or tied to D2 phases. Shearing, 
as I mentioned, can modify the uh, lithology. It is, of course, very important for alpine type terrains. I suppose that something like this will be visible, but in ductile regime, in also in in proterozoic terrains, but not so clear and not so clearly distinguishable. So we are just thought, uh, discussing about this. And last uh, last slide of our lecture. So we are very close to our to our presentation, expressing origin this D4 structures. I did a very expensive uh, extended extended research in South Southern Slovakia and uh, reconstructing something like this. It looks terrible, really, but there are kinematically proved with metal structures, shear zones of two directions. Typical, it is very typical for the whole Europe and much more uh, better visible uh, in South Southern Europe, these structures in our country, it is more or less good distinguishable maybe in German type terrains and older Hercinian and older terrains, it is not so well visible, but important are these East West Ending structures. These are these antithetic and synthetic shears originating during, during this transverse or shearing. And you can imagine that if we connect several shears of this type, we more or less the originate nature will pre pre prepare us linear structures of two directions. And it is D4 situation. Again, proved by uh, measurements in uh, watery Treventine piles and so on. So I think that everything can be discussed in detail later. Okay, so thanks for your attention. Final statement that very simple. D1, D2, D4. Sorry, this is D0, it's a mistake. D1, D2, and so on. And if there are some questions, and I can send you also papers, contact me, please, to my email. Thank you very much for your attention.